If you saw my previous video on the strength of resin prints, you saw that resin prints can be quite strong. However, when I started looking at some more data, I started seeing some variability between one test and another. So I decided to drill down and try to be a little bit more scientific about what was causing the variability in my strength results. Now I saw a paper at Formlabs website where they said that heating up your resin prints while you're post curing them in UV light was really important to get more strength. So initially I just took a simple cardboard box like this I put a UV light and I put my samples in there and then I put a blow dryer, a hair dryer, and blowing hot air into the box while it post cured. It wasn't very scientific, it wasn't very well controlled, but I was seeing some pretty good results using that methodology. So I decided to upgrade my tests and I purchased a food dehydrator that had a digital control on it. This digital control would allow me to precisely set the temperature that my um, post cure operation happened. I was able to put the UV light inside of the food dehydrator and let it warm up, stabilize in temperature, and then get very precise curing cycles at precise temperatures. And I have some friends here to help me with the testing. Hi, I'm Bjorn. Hi, I'm Theo. Hi, I'm Nico. Hi, I'm Ivy. Okay, guys, let's do some testing. Okay. Go ahead. When I did that, I got some very interesting results, and I want to show them to you now. So, uh, using the same Soraya blue resin that I did in my previous tests, my first experiment, just for control, was to do no post-cure. And when I did that, meaning no UV light, nothing, I just took it out of the um, resin printer and tested it. And I got about 80 kilograms of strength using Stefan's hook. Now that's the original Stefan hook. That's the one that uh, where it's completely solid and filled. Uh, at room temperature cure, I got about 100 kilograms of strength. So about, uh, you know, 20% more uh, strength than uh, with no post cure, which is good and it's an important step. But here's what's really interesting. If you post cure it at 60 degrees, which is the temperature that Form Labs recommends for many resins, the strength goes up to 140 kilograms. So by curing at 60 degrees compared to room temperature curing, you get 40% more strength. That's a lot more strength. Now in Form Labs white paper on their website, they say this occurs because as the resin cures, some of the uncured molecules are far from each other and can't find each other. So by heating it up, you create some vibration in the lattice and those uncured molecules can find each other when exposed to UV light and they wouldn't otherwise be able to do that. So I really encourage you to heat your samples as you expose them to UV light. You can use anything from a cardboard box to a food dehydrator like I did. And I think you'll find your parts are much stronger than before. Thanks a lot.